today on The Real. Watch this. Oh, shut up. It's a picture-perfect day at The Real. Then we insta-slam our fans. Oh my goodness, look at that dress! And Tamara's chocolate oh. obsession. Do you like your chocolate dark or light? You like light, don't you, girl? <laughs> the real. You guys, I have a question I need to get your advice on. Okay. okay. I have a new girl, I have a girlfriend who's new to online dating, okay? Mm -hmm. She met this guy, she really hit it off with him. They had a great date, it was perfect. She was like, we had so much energy, she thought this was it. After the date, he totally ghosted on her, like went Houdini for like five days, no call, no text, no nothing, okay? So of course she starts to doubt herself, she starts to think, did I do something wrong? Yeah. All of a sudden he texts her back, with this message. Let me read it to you guys, because I don't want to misconstrue his words. Okay. okay. It says, hey there, sorry I've not really been in touch. I've been procrastinating about what to do. Basically, I met someone else literally just before you, as I've only got a short period of time before I head off on a three week trip. I think I should concentrate on that until then. I'm not really into the whole multiple dating thing. I will let you know if circumstances change. I had a great time with you on Saturday, James. Okay, yes. So on one hand, the same feeling I heard, some, I heard some of you women getting, which is like, what? I'm second best? You're trying to tell me like you met somebody else and I'm not more important enough for you to continue with me? Yeah. But on the other hand, there's a sense of honesty inside of his text message. Mm -hmm. And my friend is from New York where a lot of times you hear about the dating scene in New York, you hear about men being able to just pick from so many women out there. There's a lot of things to consider. At the end of the day, she doesn't know what to do. So I wanted to ask you guys what you would do, how you would respond, and would you respond at all? Well, okay, <laughs> did she, okay. Ask uh, me questions. She said five, five days? Five days after this great date, Ghost. Yeah, after the first night, then she knew. I mean, really, it's like you don't have to wait five days. If he didn't contact you after, if it was such a great date, yes. he would at least did something, whether it was a text, whether it was a call, whether yeah. something to say, hey, just checking on you. It was a great date, da da da. You know, but five days, yeah. that's a long time. Okay. A movie that was so enlightening that I recommend women out there watch. You know it is what? a movie called He's Just Not, not That, that into, into You. you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. And, and you know what? I actually really respect him. And I like this Jane right. person. Because let me tell you, he told her straight up, this is what it is. Now, what she's going to do about it? Move on. I was about to say, of move course. on. What is, like, what, what is there to do about it? Why does she act like she has an option? Yes. Let Girl, me... you don't got an option. Exactly. Move on. Let me hang on the I one thing I see it as right he's there. already made his choice, yeah. though. Yeah. Yes. You didn't choose. If, if our date was so great, how come you're not taking me with you wherever yeah. you're going. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Right? Yeah. So I think we're all on the same page, which is don't trip, keep it moving. Yeah. Now here's the thing, I, does she respond to him? Do you honor the fact that a guy is actually being straight up? Yes. Because in this day and age, he could have just never said anything. That is he, true. You know he's swiping left, right, he's not really thinking about her. It's kind of courteous, and I wonder, do we reward that type of humor so we grow or nurture more relationships with men? But do we like know it? his motive though, y'all? Because sometimes guys do that just to make themselves feel better. Do you right. see what I'm saying? No, well, let me tell they you. Don't but be then seen. in that case, she really should respond and just be like, am I I'm fucking on some pride? Like, like, yo, for real, I really appreciate that. Thanks for giving me the heads up. Hope it all works out great for you. Move That's on. Fine. When he, That's fine. Why well, be like, bitter Betty? Yeah. Okay. That's true. Okay. Long so you would respond. You say? I would just be like, yo, good looking out. Thank you for the heads up. Whoa. I'm trying to understand this. <laughs> okay. Okay, it was a good date. Yeah. 
He didn't call her no. the, the night after. She like, thought it was a good date. And so probably what happened was... I he mean, said he had a great I know time. this is your friend, so I'm sorry if I'm making assumptions. No, but it. the thing is, is that she probably kept texting him and calling him. And so what he did was he said, let me go ahead and just let her know. It might be the truth. It might not be the truth. He is not a knight in, shine, in shining armor because if he didn't like her that first night, what he was doing, he was playing her. And he didn't figure out what he wanted. So, are you, are you saying that in the five days that a man doesn't respond, is he waiting for you to do something, or is he picking out his other options? What is a guy doing five days? Jay, when before, a man wants to be with you, he will do let you know that, that, that night. night. So he'll he'll let you know that night. That he's, he's either with that someone night. now yeah. and trying to figure out that situation, and basically, he's keeping her on a string. Exactly. Yeah. So just in case this doesn't work out, right. oh, I'll go to her? I'm exactly. not your backup boo, please. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And no. let me tell you, you know what you need to tell your friends? Yeah. That one man's I'm not sure is someone else's I knew from the day I met her. Okay. I had that on my Instagram, that is, man. I yes. like that. I got that from your Instagram, yeah. like it. And that is true. But thanks for sharing that, that though. Yeah, yeah that you, know, you know, because women, we always want to look at good in men, and men are good. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But you also have to be smart about it. He is not no knight in shining armor. He was he was having her on a string. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, but out of pride, I would make him feel like because I feel like if she doesn't respond, that low-key yep. makes her look bitter. Yep. I would be like, yo, good looking out. Thanks. Hope it goes well for you. Booyah. Like, I'd be like, no big deal. Ain't no sweat off my shoulder. Yeah, like, I yeah, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Let them know you're moving on. I don't know. Be like, or even better, if you want to play it, because two could play this game, <laughs> and be like, I'm so glad that you responded. Been feeling the same way. Have someone that I just, you know, reconnected with. The flames are high. I feel, <laughs> you know, a lot. Or now, if it goes well with you, yeah. I'm gonna get married next week. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, that's funny. Yeah. Vaya con Dios. You know, I, and I also well. say that you put put change his name in your phone to do not answer. Okay. Boom. That okay. way you never For answer. Sure. Keep yes. on moving. So, yes. you know, Look, dating can be awkward, and sometimes you end up having a little too much to drink. But if you end up having a few too many, it's important not to make any mistakes you might regret. In fact, Madame Noir just wrote an article describing the things you need to lock up uh -oh. when you get drunk. <laughs> Some of the items include your phone, your credit card, your binge food, and yep. of course, your Adele music oh, or Beyonce that'll, that'll, music. That'll okay. take you down the oh, wall. Oh, yeah, you know. No, Beyonce yeah. might make you feel... Yeah. You, you no, get Beyonce that might make you feel freaky. She yeah. got a couple of songs in there, though. I ain't sorry. You be like, ooh, yes. yeah, and you get mad, you know? <laughs> but ladies, what items should be taken away, you know, that you should be... T you take away if you get a little too much, you know, too tipsy? The internet. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Why? What do you do? So I mean, when you, when you remove your inhibitions, you just start falling down every rabbit hole there is from Instagram to old messages, um, people's Twitter. pictures, Twitter. Um, yes, but my biggest pitfall, when I'm drinking at least three drinks in, and if it's past 11 p.m., I start online shopping. And it gets really? real bad. Oh, yes. I, I actually yes. can relate Friends to this. To yes. the just the other night, I was having a glass of wine, Iz actually fell asleep. I kept drinking a little bit more wine. Yeah. And I started thinking that I wanted to bake a cake. Random, I know. <laughs> and then I was like, well, we're, we're having a little staycation at home. I want to bake a cake. There's this new thing called Instacart. Oh, yeah. I told you about this. Oh. You can actually grocery shop and pick the time yes. that you want your groceries delivered. Yes. So I picked that I wanted it delivered at 9 a.m. the next morning. You guys, I went grocery shopping, slightly buzzed, and I bought Everything you could yep. ever imagine slept in. All of a sudden, my bell is ringing at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is this? You guys, I had brought Pillsbury cookies and croissants. Ooh. And, Ooh. and you were hungry, too. I was hungry. Oh. And I bought tons of groceries, random. I lock up my chocolate drawer. Do you remember that time you came over? Yeah. Actually, I think it was last night. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> Tell all the business. Yes. Um, after we had a couple of glasses of wine, you guys, all I want... A couple of bottles, it, America. Actually, oh, it was, <laughs> yes. All I want is chocolate. So I actually have a chocolate drawer where I have all kinds of chocolate. You have Belgium chocolate. Why do you look like Willy Wonka right now? Because... <laughs> 
I, no. I But let me love tell y'all how she do it, though. Chocolate popcorn. It's like we're sitting there at the table, oh. and then she gets up, you know, she stumbles a little bit, <laughs> and then she comes and she sits down, right? And she got this look on her face, and she goes, this is the chocolate. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> she's acting like she's like she's giving it out. Yeah, like she like she. You love some. that chocolate like, though. She, it was delicious. It was really Wait, good. So it was dark was chocolate. Delicious. Are you the type to have a couple pieces? Are we going in? No, half a that's bar? the no, thing. I, can't stop. I go in with maybe just thinking about a couple of pieces, but then I eat the entire bar. Yeah. Oh dang. Yeah. Then yeah. I don't stop there. Then I get uh, the chocolate covered toffee almonds, <laughs> the regular chocolate almonds, the chocolate. Uh, uh, covered popcorn. Oh, girl. Girl. What? Uh, yeah. do, you have, do you like your chocolate dark or white? She's got a whole drawer yeah. of stuff. But how big is this drawer? It's like, it's about, it goes. How big is it's it? It's about as tall as this table. Yeah, it's it's an entire drawer, you guys. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> Wait, so oh answer the question. Gosh. What? Do you like your chocolate dark or light? <sighs> I like dark chocolate. Oh, Ooh, oh good to know. Like but we know what you like light, don't you, girl? <laughs> yes, light. <laughs> I love it. Do like a little cream in my coffee. <laughs> oh my I God. got hot. Okay. <laughs> From binge eating to picky eating, have you ever ordered food at a restaurant and when it comes, you're just, it's just not what you ordered. Yes. Genie. Yes. Now, you have that internal struggle about whether or not to send it back. On one hand, you want what you ordered, and on the other hand, you don't want the staff to put any, you know, extra ingredients in your brain, if you know what I mean. Because they do. That's they do. do that. <laughs> I know that. You don't want that special sauce. No, you okay. don't. So, how do you ladies handle getting served a dish that isn't exactly what you ordered? I want to hear from her because yeah, she oh. always orders a certain way, so I want to know. I do. You and I'm the pickiest eater, Jeannie. Okay. Pickiest. Really is. I am a picky eater. Yes, I am. I'm Jeannie Mai, and I like it ordered my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> However, I worked as a server for three years at TGI Fridays, and I've learned that as a server, you appreciate when people appreciate you. So if and things go wrong, it's not about what you say, it's, it's about nice. how you, you say, say it. Yeah. Yeah. So even yeah. if you got a dish wrong, if you say, I'm so sorry, it, it, it's just not exactly what I ordered, or it just tastes bad, I'd rather you be happy with what you ate, because then that shows up when you're making out my tip. Does that yeah. make sense? Right. If you're not happy with what you ate, you ain't gonna be happy putting down my tip. So it actually is good when things go wrong because then a server's able to show you her skills. So you just gotta ask for it nice and appreciate that. She's tired and she don't wanna show you her skills. She just wanna give you what you got. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're paying for yeah. the meal and you should eat what you like. Exactly. Yeah, and what? Then I think it starts first off when you order, okay? If you know that you like something a certain type of way, you should be specific about it. Like when I order bacon, I said, look, excuse me. Excuse me. I want my bacon crispy. You're I don't want up. it chewy. Yep. I don't want it leaning over to the side. I don't want it. My, I want it crispy, not burnt, but crispy. When I put it in my mouth, I want to hear a little crunch. That's all I want to hear, and then we will be good. That's yes. I yes. did that. But why can't you find something on the menu that you want just the way it comes? Because well, sometimes people are just really. Really or picky. find something that you, it comes just the way you like well, it. Well, but or you're sometimes, like, it things? depends no. on different things. Like, if you order a steak, you know, it has to be cooked a certain way. You or know, no butter, exactly. no oil. You know, um, that's you might work. be on a special diet. But I actually have a friend, and it usually helps because she is, oh, she's actually worse than you, Jeannie. Oh, Lord. I get annoyed, so I know that the waiter <laughs> is, is going to get annoyed. Um, but what she does is, is she puts out a disclaimer first. She's like, listen, I'm one of those annoying orderers. Yes. So I'm just letting you know, brace for it. And sometimes she's like, do you have a paper and a pen? Are yeah, you ready? She tries to make it funny. She, she makes does. light of it. Yeah. She yeah. does. It's yes, still it's annoying, but it helps. It the helps. Most important a bit. thing is, does she take care of the server at the end with she her does. tips? Okay, she does. good, because you right. always gotta pay for that yeah, extra that time is, you're okay. taking up there. But my concern is that they'll give you the special sauce because they haven't gotten the tip yet. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't care if I order pizza and a steak comes, I'm gonna eat what they serve me. Always, even Always. if you don't like it. But I, there really isn't much I don't like, so I just be uh. like, 
No, but you gotta stand up like for yourself. I'm hungry. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> really? You gotta yeah, stand up for where. yourself. Iz is a way pickier eater than I am, and he's very specific about what he wants. Mm -hmm. I'm always like, whatever you didn't want, just give it to me. Like I don't care. Food is food. <laughs> I Damn. think if you if you I open really don't it up, care. if you tell them at first when you know you want something, then yes. it does. It's not as bad if it comes back and it's not the way you want it. You say, remember I be. added it like this. Yes. Well, if you say something that's no butter and they add butter, then, you know that could be something that's gonna affect your diet yeah. or if you say something no Which cheese and lactose and intolerance. Cheese. Some yeah, of y'all who ain't that. supposed to have dairy and then you have say. dairy on accident, exactly. that's it's a wrap. A happy Time to go home. Yeah. You just, if you explain it to them, I think they understand. If you say it up front, you know, then I think they understand. And they'll be like, oh yeah, you did say that. Let me go back and let me try it again. Wait, have you ever noticed when they put something on your like meal that you I didn't ask for? And then they take it away and you actually inspect the plate and it's the same thing and they just took off whatever was on it. Exactly. Like if you said I don't want bacon bits and it was on top and then they take it away and that now means that their little fingers were in yes. there taking oh. out the bacon bits and then they just brought it back that's to you. That's why I always hide something in the plate so you can oh. tell you're the only one who knows that's the same plate. Very smart. Yes. There you go. Very smart. Now, have you ever asked your husband or boyfriend the question, do you notice anything different about me? And you get crickets? Dude. <laughs> Ghost. Well, you are not alone. Red Book beauty writer Lisa Fogarty did a little experiment with her husband by switching up her look, hmm. including getting lip fillers oh. to see if he noticed. And, well, he didn't. Oh, my gosh. He didn't notice. So Dang. when it comes to men, you guys married, I mean. <laughs> Are they just clueless? Do they notice anything that you guys do for your beauty? Well, Lonnie, you change your hair color all the time. Do you guys notice that? No. <laughs> they don't? No, they don't care about... I'm telling you the only thing for me, dating multiple, that me and notice... <laughs> what? They notice when you're not giving them sex. That's the only thing they that's, know. Yes, that, that they'll know. That's, that's true, it. for sure. They will know the days and the times right. that you last Like did. It's been two that's, weeks. Yep. It's been three months. That's, that's so why true. you don't play those games and just give it up. Exactly. I think you're... What? I do notice so, I think Adrian. What Houghton. did you what? just, Adrian? To your it. husband, at least. I was about to say to you. I thought I thought you were saying yeah. something else. It's I, just the way it came out. Yes. <laughs> that's all. With that being said, <laughs> I do think that husbands do notice stuff like that. First of all, her lip fillers must have been really good. I've never seen anybody get it done right where it even looks normal. Mm. Well, yeah, how do we know they were done really good? Because they would have done. She could have had them done so bad. He didn't want to look. No, I think if he didn't even notice that something was maybe done, they weren't done well. very natural, maybe, which you can always tell if somebody did their lips in my I've yes. never seen anybody get their lips done that you don't notice they got their I lips can done. Always tell. Oh, It'd be wow. like, I don't know if that would make me like on the real. I don't know if that would make me feel good because she literally changed something yeah. to a part of her face. That's Do you see a what lot. I'm saying? Yes. And isn't he supposed to be kissing you? Yes. And then he doesn't even notice that? It probably feels different. Wouldn't he notice? Yes. I know. I um, whenever I wear my curly hair, my uh. natural hair is Adam's favorite. He always notices when I Talk get a haircut. Talk slow when you say that. What? Talk slow. What? Grab it. Oh, Grab Jesus. It. No, Lottie, I'm not talking about that. No. I'm <laughs> saying that when I get a haircut with my curly hair, he notices it. Yes. But he, when I have a wig or something on, it's like, oh. Even no. when you had, like, the bangs, he didn't notice? Like... Uh, no, he did notice the bangs. Yeah, he don't then... grab it? Lonnie. It's natural. <laughs> just... You're talking about something. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get Dang me it. in trouble, Dang. Lonnie. You're not going to get, damn it, now I'm hot again. You got to stop this. He don't want to grab that wig because it might fall off. That's the thing, you know, but that curly hair, I yeah, know he, he grabbed he it. Loves I know it. He loves it. It gets stuck sometimes, <laughs> but he loves it. Yes. He loves my natural yeah. hair. And I, I love that. that. Okay, let love me it. ask you ladies something. Have you um, ever changed your appearance? to make your Yo, man I happy. Yo, I a whole clip-on bang. You guys remember my bangs that I rock sometimes? But yeah. to make well, him like, happy. Have you ever sure. changed yes. anything? I cut bangs. You did? Yeah, years ago, I cut bangs, and it was the worst decision I ever made for my entire life. The process of growing bangs, that was terrible. Horrible. And worse than anything, I attempted to cut them myself. <gasps> Why would you do they that? Like like this? I like cut, a bang he had a something? thing about bangs. So, like, I, I used to go by the name Bonnie Bessos, and then it was like Bang Bang Bessos. Like, it was this whole thing. Bang uh, Bang Yes, Bessos. so it was like Bang Bang, you know, like, yes. Wait, I get wait, it. wait, Adrian. So I would wear red lips, and I had, like, really dark, almost black hair with a bob, like a, like a bang. It, it was, actually would look really hot. Yeah, it sounds if hot. If I show you the picture, it was not hot. And the growing out process, because I cut too far in, 
Yo. So I had like a bootleg bowl cut, and then because it came really low, I have a short forehead. And if you don't have enough of a forehead, you're not really it good just with bangs. Yeah. So I had no eyes, so I would always wear these really bright lips and bang, bang, bang. <laughs> so it was bad. It, and growing them out was terrible. Bangs are tricky because it just takes a millimeter off and you can go from bowl cut to hot. Yeah, it you was so I mean? like bad, Jeannie. What have you changed? I'm I said I cut bangs from you. Okay, I got bangs from you. You over there being quiet. I, I haven't changed anything. Never for a guy. You and, never changed And in all here. honesty, okay, you guys, this is the truth. I'm just going to put myself out there. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so after I had my two children, yes. I have a little issue with my midsection. Yes. Like I think most women yeah. do, yeah. unless they're really blessed in that area. Um, and I really wanted to change that for him and he's like you know what no i honestly do not care it's totally fine so i haven't changed anything and you guys i will tell you this you guys told me that he he wouldn't you know he don't it, care he's it, like it my matter. babies came out of there that's yes. great and honest to god i remember just looking at him because i felt you know really uncomfortable and he grabbed both of my um arms and he looked at me really lovingly and he said tamara honestly I don't even notice and I don't even care. Oh. So stop. And I love that. Easter is right around the corner and there is so much to love about this holiday from the time spent with family to painting those eggs. But we all know that with every holiday comes with the share of things we don't necessarily adore. So mm. today we're tossing off those Easter bonnets and telling you what needs to be tapped out. This is Tap Out Easter Edition. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start this off with something that just gets me hot. And not in a good way. <laughs> I wanna tap out Easter pressed hair. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Hair that is so pressed, you can smell it from a mile away. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now I'm familiar with this smell because it happened to me. My hair was so cooked, I got into the car with my friend and she thought the car was on fire. Oh, no, oh my that was my hair. I had to quickly fess up and let her know that it was my hair. The stench followed me around <laughs> all day. Well, my friends, never again. So this Easter, let's get dressed in our Sunday best, but tap out getting burnt by our dues. Yeah. <laughs> tap out. Good job. Yeah. That's a great one. People don't know. I felt they don't. that. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, ladies, my tap out is just so gross to me. I get cavities just thinking about it. I'm talking about those chocolate cream eggs. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I love my audience. Yes. <laughs> See, people, some, some of you guys love them. Ew, they make me cringe. <laughs> Why would I want to crack open a chocolate egg to find creamy white and yellow fake sugary substance that's supposed to be egg yolk? I'd rather have several scoops of like salted caramel ice cream mm. and extra crispy onion rings with honey mustard dipping sauce before I waste my calories on one gross nasty egg. Please. Let's crack open this button because I am so ready to serve this tap out. Tap out cream eggs. <laughs> Oh, oh my nasty. gosh. Okay, my tap out has to do with something that I'm sure we've all witnessed. Aggressive adults that knock over the little kids during the Easter <laughs> egg hunt, <laughs> all right? You know I'm talking to you, okay? <laughs> this holiday is about enjoying time with the ones you love, and that includes the fun activities for the babies, yeah. okay? <laughs> Trust me, there is nothing for your grown self in that egg. Slow your roll, Easter friends. Back up, have a seat, enjoy the happy faces of the babies as they run around. <laughs> tap in and be an adult and tap out, stealing from the little ones. <laughs> White House last year a little bit? No. Uh -huh. Yeah, wait, no. kind of. No, <laughs> when you think of Easter holiday traditions, you may think of painted eggs and chocolates. Not me. I think of the fake green horrible grass that gets everywhere. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Look, I get it. It adds, you know, some real feel to the cute basket <laughs> that holds all the decorative eggs. But why must it be so messy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> no. You guys, long after Easter holiday comes and goes, I'm still picking up this green paper from all over my house. 
Seriously, it's like sand in your swimsuit. Annoying. Now, I love you, Easter, but this mess-making tradition is a pain in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Easter, it feels good to tap out those little annoyances that creep up every year. These days, taking pictures is so easy that we're all guilty of snapping photos that never leave our phones. Well, it's time to take these moments off our electronic devices and put them on display. Today, we have the creative ways to incorporate your cherished memories into decorative mementos. This is Picture This. <laughs> so excited to help you showcase your memories in the different arenas of your life. So Tam Tam, show yes. me what you got. Want to break away from the monotony of file folders, staplers, and sticky notes in your yes. work cubicle? Bring some joy to your Java with a really cool mug. Like this. This may look like your average boring mug, but take a look at this. Oh, shut up. Yes, yes, yes. Watch this. Simply pour in your morning coffee and voila. Oh, oh, oh I see words. Oh. Your photo will appear. Oh, that's really dope. That is oh, super oh cool. Oh my god. Look at it's, it's a royal. It's a royal. Look at that photo. That's Aiden and Araya. These are my babies. Oh. The I mug is that. made with special high sensitive coating, so when hot liquid is added, it changes color to reveal your favorite photos. There's oh, our picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Katie, you'll wow your coworkers and brighten your own day with the sight of your treasured memory. Now, the best part of waking up is seeing my kids on my cup. You can order one of these online from Zazzle, and they only cost $23. Oh, I'm good. getting one. That's I'm good. getting one, right? That's I need awesome. them. I was almost questioning the mug, but then you took it over the top. <laughs> now that we know how to bring our pictures to work, how can we bring them to play, Lonnie? Uh, well, Jeannie, what I have here is multi-purpose. It can help both your decoration for your home and it can be entertainment. This photo is a jigsaw photo puzzle. You can turn any room into a playroom, see? Like this, you just put them all together, you spend time with your people and everything, and y'all can drink or whatever. I don't drink that much anymore. And then what happens is, you have this. Voila! That is really cool. That's so cute. Simply upload your image online, and Portrait Puzzles will turn it into a puzzle. The puzzles ranges from just 15 to 1,000 pieces. I need 15 pieces, that's it. This style can cost from $28 to $50. I like that. Mommy. You kicked it out of the park, Lonnie, and it's good for kids. I love that you thought about that. Adrienne, you got something good over there? Woo! Yes, I have the perfect keepsake to keep you warm. All right, with this adorable woven stadium blanket, you can keep your toes toasty while you cheer on the team from the stands. All right, cozy up with the photo of whomever you're supporting on your blanket, and you'll be the best cheerleader of the bunch. Simply upload your photo to the Personal Throws website, and their team of artists will turn it into a cozy creation. You guys, these blankets come in three sizes and they cost from $50 to $100. Check oh, that wow. out. Go Team Real! Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Wow, these are all adorable. Good job, ladies. Thank you. What a great way to display photos with the spin, right guys? Yeah. I think it's safe to say that most of us have a bit of an obsession with social media. Am I the only one? Well, it's our way of sharing a piece of our lives with the world, but sometimes what we share crosses the line from cute to downright questionable. All right, you've been posting, and boy, oh boy, have we been watching. Today, we're here to call you out on your most over-the-top posts. It's time for Insta Slam. <laughs> We checked out your Instagram accounts this morning, and there were some pretty hilarious photos. <laughs> now, if you're the culprit for the pick in question, you'll know from the big old red spotlight that's gonna land on you. When it does, get on your feet and explain yourself. You All right, go. kill the lights. Let's find our first perp. Yes. <laughs> Oh, come on. Hey. Girl, 
your photo had me all kinds of confused. <laughs> you have some explaining to do. Well, I mean, oh, I'm just nervous standing next to you because I don't know what's about to come out your mouth. What happened here? Well, I was in New York with my cousin. Okay. And we were celebrating her 21st birthday. Fun. So what do you do when you're in New York? You go to the Museum of Sex. Wait, I can, I can say sex. Yes, okay. <laughs> you can say that. You go to the Museum of Sex, and we walk down the staircase, and there was a woman with a whip. And what do you do when someone has a whip? Get spanked. The rest well, is history. Well, there you go. <laughs> you bend over. Glad Jeannie can relate. Well, well, well. Well, thanks, Tanisha. Okay, our next pick That's left perfect. us wondering, and we want answers. Let's find our next Graham to slam. Dress, all right. I mean, okay, it's cute, but is that what is that made out of? Well, it's made out of plastic flowers. I was going to a Garden of Eden party, and since I'm known for my costumes, I was like, what can I turn myself into last minute? A flower, and it only took me two hours to make. I was proud of that outfit. Very all right, proud. Eve. Only two hours? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So like a piece Eden. of fruit cocktail. Ooh. I like it, all right? Thank you, Danielle. All right. Someone in the audience, it's a fan at home. We asked you to Insta Slam yourselves, and did you ever? Amanda, are you there? Hi. Okay, Amanda. Hi. We're calling you because you hashtag real Insta Slam on one of your photos, and we just had to know the story once we saw it. P.S. Before we show this photo, please do not try this at a home or at a zoo or at a fair. Show the photo. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> What is happening in this pic and why did you post it? I was on vacation in Vermont with my family and the old man who owned this petting zoo asked if I wanted to feed the horse a peppermint because I guess that's its favorite treat. So I said, sure. And I tried to stick my hand out to give it to him and he said, no, you have to put it in your lip mouth. Oh. And so when I backed away for a second, my brothers, of course, stared me and I couldn't turn down a dare. So <laughs> that's how that happened. Oh. Need a thank That's a black like ex-boyfriend right there. Oh, okay, a... we're good. These days, the only way to make a fashion statement is to rock your look from head to toe. And that's what's in the spotlight right now, head wraps. This chic look can be worn for all occasions. Looking to try the trend, but you're not sure where to start? Fear not, because we've got the tips to help you tie things up, <laughs> no matter what the dress code. Soon you'll be saying, that's a wrap. <laughs> First look is all about rocking this trend at work. Mm. Now, a head wrap can be a great way to add a pop of color or a personal flair to a more conservative outfit. But what's the best way to wrap things up for the workplace? Let's find out. Come on out. <laughs> all right. Oh, Here is our junior publicist, Amanda. Now, this head wrap goes perfectly with this classic office outfit. The black printed skirt and pink blazer combo leaves room to add some personal flair with accessories. This bright hair wrap helps to upgrade the look while it's still conservative enough for the workplace. Right, girls? Yeah. yeah. Now, this yeah. wrap is by Cynthia Rowley, and it costs $14.99. Oh, that's a good price. Thank you so much, Amanda. You're dope. You're great. Color. I think it's awesome. I know. Our next is for your casual weekend outfit. A head wrap is such a functional fashion statement to keep your hair out of your face when you're on the go. But if you want to rock this style as both an accessory and a hairstyle, what do you do? We've got the answer right here. Right. Come on out! associate producers, Kristen, and she is rocking her casual look with a pineapple head wrap style. By tying your hair up into the scarf, it adds an extra pop and helps to accentuate the beautiful polka dot wrap. We paired this scarf with this dress because of the complementary colors and contrasting patterns. This wrap is actually a piece of fabric from Mood Fabric oh, and costs only $14 a yard. Oh, oh my God. So yes. Trendy and 
and easy DIY. Oh, so. You rock this look. Yes. Thanks, Kristen. Oh, oh, she gave me the thing, too. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, our so last dope. look shows off the perfect way to rock a head wrap with your evening wear. A wrap like this can add serious extra layer of elegance. Let's see how it's done. Come on out. Oh, I love, I love this. She looks fabulous. You pair this beautiful blue formal dress with this head wrap because of the perfectly matching color. Keeping within the color scheme of the dress helps to elongate the body and really makes her jewelry stand out. This head wrap is by Cover Your Hair from Amazon. It costs $21.50 for a pack of 12. What? Thanks, yeah. Olivia. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap. Let's take one more look at all of our gorgeous girls and their stunning head-to-toe looks. Look at our team. Amazing. Yes.